In this episode, we decide as professional designers, we can of course design and paint our own patios. We convince Natalie to let us paint and spend six hours at her workshop. Hi, my name is Anna and this is my husband Life Eric. He came up with this idea to build a simple catamaran, put it in a container and send it from ice cold Norway to Tahiti in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This way we could start sailing in paradise. I said, what a crazy idea. Let's do it. This is the adventure of building and sailing Bada Bada. And the story starts when finally coming back after three years of the pandemic. It was another lovely morning in paradise as we rode ashore. Carefully, we lifted the dinghy, carried it to the end of the beach and tied it to a palm tree and walked the few meters up to the small road and stuck out our thumbs. And one ride took us all the way to the little capital Fade and another to the village Maeva. And since I had been given the Tahitian name Maeva, which means welcome, I sort of considered Maeva to be my village. I'd been to the museum in Maeva before and it, uh, it was always a special feeling walking towards the rectangular bamboo holy building, laying beautiful on stilts in the water. The village of Maeva was thought to be an ab abandoned, which is a difficult word for me to say, abandoned or something, we have to text it, royal settlement with many megalithic structures, including the maras, the big black stones you would find all around the village. It's still said that lots of older people will not step on these stones as they are considered to be holy. By the waterside, two canoes clearly showed old and new times. The old wooden one almost gone back to nature and the new plastic one lying next to it. It clearly showed that tradition is very strong in this island. Okay, sadly not many wooden canoes, but lots and lots of newly produced ones. contained archaeological objects, photos and books. And we had been admiring tattoos we had seen and also talked to people about what the tattoos meant and reasons for getting them. One book quickly picked up our attention, uh, the motifs being very clear and graphical. If we can make our own pareos, we really won't do that. Have one without flowers, but with, with great pattern instead. Many, many books here to, to look at. All of a sudden, we started talking about painting our own pareos using some of these beautiful motifs. A pareo is a one size piece of cloth worn by women and men in French Polynesia. It can be used in all occasions, it's casual or uncasual, party or festival. It can be worn as a dress or as a skirt and in several different ways. We got really excited. Arm and I are both educated as graphic designers and immediately we thought this was something we could accomplish. Aita pea pea, no problem. Could it be that difficult? Painting on a piece of cotton cloth? 
back onto Bara Bara, we were doing studies, we were doing drawings, we were discussing, we were planning. We were also finding and convincing Natalie to let us paint our own designs. Because Natalie would usually have tourists fill the outline flowers she had already prepared. Back in the dinghy again. Thumbs out, thumbs out, thumbs out, thumbs out. It was not like, uh, like no one would, would, would give us a ride. There were actually no rides. There were no cars whatsoever. There were, there were even no motorcycles and not even a bicycle was to be seen. So we walked, we walked and we walked in our flip flops, of course. And it was hot and it was humid. We managed to take a few mangoes from a tree and luckily we did have water to drink. So we walked the six kilometers. We came late, but French Natalie also exclaimed the sentence, Zaita, pea, pea, no problem. Uh, or at least I, I think that's what she said. It could also have been something in French. I had to change out of my colorful dress and into a rough shirt that I could spill paint on. And Natalie was not convinced when I said, my dad, as a painter, he, he taught me not to spill on my clothes. So Natalie gave us clear instructions and we quickly started working. We worked and we worked and we worked. Thank you. Are you about to finish? Uh, I have the crown left. It looks very, very and good. And I don't know how I'm gonna. <laughs> this is supposed to be shoulders, and this is the mouth. Oh, so, nice. Well, it's, it's gonna turn out great. Så la hun den ut i solen, den skal ligge her. Og den her har jeg tenkt å ha oransje da, som skal fikseres. Jeg synes det er fint, jeg. Jeg synes det er veldig fint. Jeg er så stolt. What was supposed to be a three hour course took us six hours. And guess, we walked. We walked, yes. And we walked and made it back to Bada Bada. Totally exhausted. So we just came, we just came back from a whole day of painting our own pareos in Parea <laughs> and uh, super tired or a bit exhausted. Uh, we were supposed to work for for six, for three hours, but worked for six hours. Coming back, it was just wonderful to, uh, to jump into this clear and beautiful water. A few days later and a uh, surprise, we uh, again, we put on our colorful uh, flip flops and we, we walked the six kilometers to Natalie and she had dried our black and white cotton pareos, then she had dyed mine orange and almost yellow. Dried them again uh, in the sun and they were ready for us to wear. Are you gay? 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 Are you 
Bonjour. We are super happy. It's so good. Oh, it's fantastic. I love. You stay at the sun one uh, one day. Uh huh. I love the color. And we were overjoyed and felt like world champion Pareo painters. And just guess, we walked back. biggest trailer we could find and on a very early Sunday morning we drove down to Fredrikstad to pick up the hulls and bring them to Oslo for the winter. We struggled quite a bit uh, to get the huge trailer into the garden and even more to get it out again with one hull on the top. But we succeeded. We connected it to Jan's big car and hit the road. The hull was not balanced correctly because the trailer was not exactly meant for boats and the trip to Oslo gave us quite a bit of, nerv of nervous tensions, but we managed. One and a half hour later we arrived big day and unloaded the hull on the lawn in front of the museums, just in front of the famous triangle building that contained Fram the ship that Roald Amundsen had used on his famous expedition, reaching the South Pole as the first man ever. In uh, this historic area, Bardebeide was to spend her first winter, close together with the small, open, traditional boats. As soon as we had unloaded one hull, we were on our way back to Fredrikstad, loaded the second hull on the trailer, and this time we were all rather tired, and drove back to Oslo. After unloading the second hull, we secured them so they would not fall down. And by then, all five of us were totally exhausted. Scandinavian warm building. One early ice cold autumn morning, we literally knocked the ice off the wheels. It's very heavy, but we're just trying to get the ice and the water out. So, oops. We loaded them up onto Oddvars old pickup and drove them to Bygda, where Bardebeide were laying in front of the Fram Museum. We worked concentrated to align the two hulls by keep measuring the diagonals as exact as possible. A lot of friends were already gathered to work on their own traditional boats and they gladly helped us lifting the very heavy beams onto the two hulls. It seems kind of strange to you. 
we had to do some adjustments to one of the beams to make it fit and we finally drilled holes for the shear box. We lash the beams to the holes with very good ropes and we follow the clear instructions given by Warham. We, uh, we enjoy the beautiful but cold Easter weather. Clear blue sky, temperature minus four, which felt like minus eight due to the wind. We made a nice big fire, ate hot dogs and had warm burritos. All of us well dressed in wool underneath our working clothes. We have an expression in Norwegian and it goes, there is uh, no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothes. Which of course means, as a good Norwegian, go out in the nature in any weather. When the beams were mounted, Bade Bade quickly looked like a real boat and we all agreed we liked the result. And we covered up Bade Bade for the winter. Thank you for watching this video. I put out new videos every second Friday and Fridays in between I put out a short story of the building part. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the buttons and it's free. And if you want to support me, check out Patreon, PayPal or Coffee. And patrons get the videos earlier and they also get uh, some extra material. And beside that I have started making mugs for each episode. Check them out and please start collecting. If you uh, have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And you will find all links in the description below. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this project. It makes a huge difference. <laughs>